Hello everyone. Apologies, it's taking such a long time for me to upload a video today. Just, you know, some days you just feel lazy. So many things to talk about. And the thing that I really wanted to talk about, I've been looking for the video to, you know, emphasize my point while I'm talking about it. I've not seen it. As soon as I get that video, I'm going to talk about it, inshallah. Okay, anyway, Tinibu's government wants to fake it until they make it. You know when they always talk about this thing, they say fake it until we make you make it. All these people that wear fake designer things and all of that, fake jewelries, fake wristwatches, and they be wearing fake fake ones and they say like fake it until you make it. I think that's what Tinubu's government is trying to do with this Dubai visa thing, UAE thing. Unprovoked. Is it by your Nanuga? Who is some spokesperson? I think it's the what, what is he? SA something something. Special assistant, something, something to Tinubu, comes out to say that UAE resumes visa services for Nigerians, uh, the fruit of Bola Tinubu's diplomacy. <laughs> oh my goodness. This was done yesterday at 3 20 p.m. That was when he did uh, the tweet. He even brought out a very officious looking document that he also put in there and everything to show that. Then, a few moments later. I wish I can do that when I'm editing. I'll, I'll just put it there and i like, a few moments later. He now comes to say, and then at 5.19, remember it was uh, 3.20, he did the other one. At 5.19, he says, UAE has not resumed visa issuance to Nigerians. The document in circulation is not authorized either by the Nigerian government or the UAE. So what does this mean? It means that this guy that is supposed to be special advisor to Tinibu has no access to nothing. <laughs> so he just saw a document. Maybe they shared document in one WhatsApp prior he ran. Mm. And then he before me, special assistant to whatever. These people are just use that uh, how like uh, has helps that they have no regard for because people proper has uh, proper people that have head in that they have regards for their. Uh, domestic staff but this one nah they don't have any regard for him and then he just has this out there and i'm sure the kukuma called him and say oh yeah come and remove that thing it is not whatever they want to fake it or thing. by fire by force they want to to have achieve things that they have not worked on if you want to achieve there are so many problems in nigeria that if tinibu's uh illegitimate government just sits down you understand sit down to focus on those government on those issues they'll be able to have a lot of things that they cannot be saying that they so even if they are the ones that cause the problem in the first place at least you'll not be saying that right but no they they think it's all about propaganda use propaganda to steal the election rigging it's all about propaganda and rigging right oh yeah come on rig your way into good governance now and uh, do the rigging rig your way into good governance do it it's not just about stealing it. It's not just about being there. It, it, it's all, all, all of this. Is, you know, it, it's just so crazy. I tell you, it's absolutely crazy. Some of these things, if you were in Nigeria, you definitely would not even believe that these things are true. You think that maybe these people are just uh, faking this thing. But anyway, Tinubu wants to fake it until he makes it with this visa ban. <laughs> hey. <laughs> ah, be, be, cool, be. Mm. the situation in nigeria is not funny but hey we are nigerians we have that happy gene in our body so we got to uh be be laughing and going and going on with things after all what what can we do what can we say? It's 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 really sad, you know, uh, all of these things that have been happening and and what people have been doing and the way uh, everything is just going on. It, it's just crazy. It's it's absolutely crazy. And the worst part of it, we're not heading anywhere other than down. 
that's 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 the worst part of it if things were bad and you knew that okay things are bad but okay now you're finding solution now you're working towards ending the problem no Allah, like, you can endure the badness it's like when you're in the gym you know this is you're doing this exercise it's got into this place it's so tiring but you know you soon finish it will soon be over so that it will soon be over there's a way it carries you on you understand you know okay yes we are suffering yes things are hard but literally there is nothing you just see that as if it's going to get worse ha that's the worst place to be you know and yet these people just sit down it's in entities that concern that they are majorly in the minor at this particular time is it visa is it dubai visa ban that is our issue or the fact that people are stealing people's food from trucks now if the people that are sending goods you have to now uh, monitor it that oh they will travel at night so that people will not see it and 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 then you know loot loot your goods. I saw someone that say in uh, uh, is it uh, Abuja that they looted his truck. Do you know what that is? That could lead to hey most traders. It's not our money we used to trade though. There's a lot of borrowing. We borrow money to trade. You you they give you things on on credit. I always say to people, if I why will I even have my money in my business? My money goes to real estate. It goes to buying either land or building house. It shouldn't be in the business. It's other people's uh, money that is in the business. So that's why we take either you're buying things on credit or you're using loan or you're using bank guarantee or any of those things that you can use. That's how trader who leaves their money in, in, in business. Then the next thing you now come, you now start looting uh, people's trailers. Start looting uh, warehouses. Even government has started going after warehouses in the name that, oh, people are hoarding. What do you mean by people are hoarding? If there are no food in warehouses, do you think you'll be able to survive? People don't understand the role that distributors make. Or you think a farmer will farm today. Who do you think you should buy all those farms with them and keep them while they are still selling? It's the distributors. And that's why you are now calling hoarding. If they didn't do that, who we, do you think it's people that eat the food that will be able to buy it the, uh, and keep in their houses? People can't. There's a role that we are housing plays. There's a role that distribution plays. But now, because they want to remove responsibility from themselves, they are putting it in on others and then saying that, oh, it is those distributors that are doing that. Anyway, Sha, uh, we, we wait to hear the next time that they will bring up this uh, visa ban issue again because it's as if it's every uh, care market day that they'll come up and tell us that, oh, UAE has, uh, uh, has, uh, has removed the visa restriction. UAE, people are hungry. You are talking about UAE and visa uh, restriction. Not the person who get money will go to Dubai. If Dubai put visa restriction, no, go another place. Now, by force, may you enter that Dubai. Now, by force. Now, by first man, you carry your, your two leg, left leg, they enter Dubai. Now, Dubai be Niger Matan, I be say people there for her. So people say they're hungry. They don't get food where they go eat. People, they're hungry. Now, they talk Dubai matter. I don't blame Munasha.